everyone. So, uh, today, tuturuan ko kayo paano gamitin ang Pythagorean formula para malaman kung ang mga given uh, sides ng isang triangle ay pang-right triangle. And pangalawa, uh, also gagamitin natin itong Pythagorean formula to identify the missing uh, side given the two other sides ng isang right triangle. To start with, again, um, this Pythagorean formula only deals with uh, right triangle, of course. No? So, in a right triangle, again, we have two legs denoted by A and B, and we have the hypotenuse denoted by letter C only. No? Letter C lang madalas at palaging ginagamit to denote the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And it is said to be na... <clears throat> Ang hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. Bakit? Kasi nga, uh, this hypotenuse that is the opposite side of your 90 degree, which is the biggest uh, measure of angle in a right triangle. Huh? Now, and again, the Pythagorean formula uh, is C square is equal to A square plus B square. Huh? And this is our first example. Huh? Do the following uh, do the following lengths form a right triangle? For A, you have 3. For B naman, you have 4. And for C, you have 5. Again, yeah, identify natin kung itong 3, 4, 5 may, can be a possible uh, measures of the legs and hypotenuse of a given triangle to be in a sasabihin natin right triangle dapat. No? Uh, using the formula, using the Pythagorean formula, you have, again, um... C square is equal to A square plus B square. Again, ang C natin denotes always the uh, hypotenuse. No? So, yung C natin, again, you have 5. And then square it equals 2. Yung A naman natin, which is 3. And then square this as well. Plus, yung B naman natin, which is 4. Square din natin yan. No? So, 3 times 3, you have... 9 plus 4 times 4, you have 16. And 5 times 5, you have, okay, good, you have 25. So, 9 plus 16 is 25. And you have here 25. So, 25 is equal to 25. So, therefore, this 3, 4, and 5 is a measure of a given right triangle. Na? So, therefore, again, this is a yes. It is a right triangle. Nakuha? Okay. Now, this time, we're going to find the hypotenuse given the legs A for 6 and 8 for B. No? So again, the formula you have is C square is equal to A square plus B square. This is your Pythagorean formula. Na? So, yung A natin given is 6 square this plus yung B natin is 8 square this as well. And then you have C square. Now, <clears throat> 6 times 6, you have 36 plus 8 times 8, you have 64. And then you have C square there. And C square is equal to 36 plus 64, you have, okay, good, you have 100. And then get the square root of it, get the square root of this as well. So you have C is equivalent to 10. And that is the value of your hypotenuse. And now, using your calculator, mas madali natin ito makukuha. Of course, using the scientific calculator, uh, may dalawang paraan tayo ng paggamit ng scientific calculator or pag-input na mga values na to in your calculator. Okay? So, simulan natin dun sa medyo uh, komplikado pero mabilis at madali nating uh, makukuha yung sagot kasi dere-derecho lang siya. So, simulan natin with this one, 6 square. Pero, again, alam natin na um, kinukuha pa natin yung square root nyan. So, una na natin pindutin or uh, i-press yung square root symbol. Lagyan natin ng open parenthesis and then you write or you press 6 and then hanapin yung x squared. Press mo yan. Plus 8. Press mo din ulit yung x squared and then close mo yan. 
and then press the equal sign then you you get 10 as the final answer okay so ayan ano naman yung isang paraan ng paggamit ng calculator pwede rin pong ganito ah na um 6 square plus 8 square tapos equal sign tapos pindutin natin yung uh, squared symbol and then another equal sign see parehas lang din ang naging uh, final answer natin. Ulitin ko. So, yung unang paraan, press mo muna yung uh, squared symbol, press mo yung open parenthesis, isulat yung 6 square, or press yung 6, and then hanapin yung x squared, plus 8, and then x squared ulit. Pero, i-close mo yan, para itong quantify na to, uh, it denotes na lahat ng itong mga va values na to is under the um, squared symbol, and then equal sign. 10. Or, yung isa naman na paraan, 6 square plus 8 square and then equal sign, then press mo yung squared symbol, and then equal sign again. Nakuha? Okay. Now, this time, we are going to determine the hypotenuse given the legs. Wala na ngayon uh, figure. Ano? So, you have, again, the formula. C square is equal to A square plus B square, no? So, C square is equivalent to, ang A natin is 7, and then square it, plus 9, and then square this as well, and then yung C natin will be equivalent to the square root of 7 times 7, you have 49, plus 9 times 9, you have 81. So, you have there, 49 plus 8, 9, 81 is 130. Okay? And then, square root mo yan. And the square root of 130 is... Okay? Square root of 130 is equivalent to 11.4. So, that is the value of your C. 11.4. Pero, ulitin ko ulit, ha? Uh, pwede natin i-direct na yan sa calculator natin. Paano? So, yung dalawang paraan ulit natin ng paggamit ng calculator. Again... Press the squared symbol and then open parenthesis ulit. 7 and then square plus 9 and then square it and then close mo yan. And then equal sign. See? You get 11.40. And then the other way around naman, pwede mo siyang 7 square plus 9 square equal sign. Press the squared symbol and then equal sign again. So, you have 11.40, same answer. Question? Okay. And that's it.